Hello guys and welcome. This is I play 4K and in this video I'm going to show you the maximum possible values when it comes to overclocking for Core i7 7920HQ processor that's going to be equipped with the modern laptop in 2016-2017. Uh, today I'm using the MSI GT83 VR 7RF Titan SLI and you can see this is the Intel Extreme Utility Tuning Utility. I'm not going to uh, do the video tutorial on this uh, Tuning Utility today but I'm going to uh, heavily discuss this utility in my uh, overclocking video tutorial uh, how to overclock any laptop Core i7. You gotta watch that guys. Uh, it's going to be available over the iPlay 4K YouTube channel. But anyways, um, this is possible my maximum settings. Uh, uh, 7920HQ uh, processor or CPU has four cores, eight threads, and two threads per core. Uh, and uh, it has a funny uh, multipliers availability uh, for this CPU. Keep in mind this is Core i7 7 generation and um, as you can see maximum multiplier will be 47 for Core 1 then it's going to be uh, 45 for Core 2, 44 for Core 3 and 43 for Core 4. Okay guys and each core has two threads keep that in mind. And um, pretty much this is very heavy as you can see to the maximum available uh, multipliers through the Intel uh, Extreme Utility so I believe this is going to be the maximum possible multipliers that you can force on the CPU when it comes to overclocking so this video will be dedicated to um, hardware enthusiast let me real quick go ahead and show you CPU Z and I'm also going to show you the IDA real quick I'm going to verify through the IDA each core through the CPU Z as well but CPU Z kind of showing the idle settings please watch this video guys on the desktop or laptop because on the iPad iPhone or any mobile devices with the small screen you're not gonna see what's going on here as you can see it's idling right now and my frequency is kind of uh, jumping but IDA let me show show you the IDA I already ran the uh, benchmark CPU benchmark in IDA keep that in mind without the recording so the results will be without the recording just a raw raw power at this crazy uh, overclock right here the verification per each core is correct so Intel extreme utility do not lie here we go, 7920HQ, um, MSI GT uh, 83VR, so pretty much uh, those laptops will be equipped with 2 GTX 1080 and SLI video cards, Pascal GPU architecture or 2 GTX 1070 video cards and SLI, Pascal GPU architecture. This is very nice platform by the way, MSI Mega Book they call it. and. Um, Here's this, uh, the results, guys. In the green, it's going to be results for 45 multipliers forced uh, for core one, core two, and um, uh, 43 multipliers for core three and core four. This is going to be the green value right here. The yellow value. The yellow color value will be our laptop settings right now, which is the craziest and maximum possible multipliers up to 47 per core one. CPU Quinn, very nice benchmark. As you can see, it's overall the experience. Uh, Photoworks, how many megapixels it can push, beating the um, kind of my prefer preferable settings because this preferable settings right now guys running in this MSI GT83 VR a gaming laptop is impossible uh, because uh, you can run like short kind of tests benchmarks but if you're going to play games or run benchmarks for a longer time a uh, longer period of time you're gonna pretty much damage your laptop because the CPU will overheat over 100 Celsius keep that in mind 
and it's become dangerous so i uh, you know if you're going to repeat this you're doing this on your own risk and expenses nothing will be uh, guaranteed there is no warranty and no guarantees and um, you will compensate your damages to yourself by yourself please do not uh, try it if you cannot compensate uh, buy yourself a laptop or replace the CPU, whatever. Here we go, the CPU 7 uh, uh, zip library, which is the best for archiving. Excellent score, as you can see, guys. Uh, VP8, let me show you the VP8, which is going to be, um, here we go, uh, the video encoder coded by Google which is the open source very popular this is how Google compressing uh, compressed its um, videos back in like 2010 and stuff like that here's the heavy benchmark right here 32-bit uh, retracing FP32 uh, 3d rendering nice score as you can see and here is the score for the uh, FP64 uh, retracing 3D rendering right here as you can see it's unbelievable fast comparing to the other CPUs I showed you all the values guys so this is possible my maximum possible settings to run this uh, CPU keep that in mind and my overclocking video tutorial is coming guys over the iPlay 4k YouTube channel or over the iPlay 4k.com website go ahead and check out that YouTube channel and I'm going to create a playlist GT83 VR laptop when I'm going to do the gameplays benchmarks and overclocking tutorials thank you so much for watching I play 4k don't forget to hit that like button a lot of money time and energy was invested into this video and I will see you till the next time don't forget to subscribe share peace